I'm probably going to be changing the background situation over the next few videos, so just bear with me as I try and get something that'll work a little bit better. I'm still moving stuff in. I haven't even put the drawers in my dresser back there, but I'm getting to it. It's just taking a little bit longer than usual. I just wanted to kind of touch on a couple products that I've really been enjoying lately. One specifically is a lip product that I've been wearing almost nonstop. Um, this is the NARS Velvet Matte Lipstick Pencil right here. And I actually have used one of these up entirely. This was in a project pan a few years ago. And initially I didn't really enjoy it very much. I didn't reach for it very often, but by the end of the project pan, I had grown to love this product so much. It's like this really beautiful, pinky mauve, almost like a berry tone to it. That is what it looks like right there, swatched out. I did have this on in my empties video for the past three months. So if you wanted to see what it looked like on the lips, you could check it out there, but it's very beautiful. They last a very long time on the lips. They're extremely matte. These specific, the uh, velvet matte lipstick pencils are very matte, very long wearing, and I do really enjoy them. So this has definitely been a top favorite for me. I also have a product here from um, Anastasia, and I've used this product for a couple of years now. I did kind of go back and forth between this one and one from Lancome, but the Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel in Granite is something that I've been reaching for on days when I'm not wearing a ton of makeup. I'll just, I don't wanna spend 10 minutes filling in my brows and making them look somewhat perfect. So I'll just reach for this product and I can just apply it into the brows all by itself, you can build it up a little bit and you can find hairs hidden in the brow area that you didn't even know existed with this product. It does build on the hairs. It can leave it feeling a little bit crunchy. I don't really have an issue with that as long as they're staying in place. If they're moving all around and they're crunchy, then that's an issue, but this is a fantastic product. This is the second one in granite. And the one thing that I do enjoy about this that the long comb one doesn't, have. The long comb brush or the bristles on it are extremely small. So on this one, you have one side that's a bit shorter, like over here, but the other side is a bit longer. I don't know if you can notice that, but the side closer to my face is a little bit longer in length. So it's easier to grab hairs at the front and pull them straight up. And then I'll kind of flip it and use the shorter edge of the bristles to work with the tail end especially. And if I really need to add some color towards the tail end, I will stamp some of the product directly on to the skin and it does stick to the skin very well. This has just been a favorite that I've been reaching for on non-makeup days non-makeup days, so I haven't really used it in the past like that. I've mostly just paired it with a brow pencil just so they're all filled in and nice and look somewhat, you know, thicker than they actually are. I have very little brow hair. I did over pluck when I was in my teenage years, so I'm definitely dealing with the aftermath of that currently. Another lip product that I was really enjoying over the past, I don't know, five to six weeks, I would say, is the Revlon Kiss Balm. This is a tinted lip balm. It has an SPF of 20 and they do have um, a variety of different shades. There's probably six or seven, I would say. They even, ha they even have a clear one if you just wanted a balm, but this smells like candy. It smells so good. This is a scroll up version, so you can scroll it up. You do get a decent amount of product. I was considering adding this into a project pan in the very, very near future, so maybe keep your eyes peeled for that. Let me give you a little swatch of this because it does have that same kind of berry tint. So I'm not sure if this is gonna come across how I would like it to, but this initial swatch right here is just two passes on my hand. And then this one right here, I did build up quite a bit. So you can see with the pink of your lips, it will show up a little bit deeper as well. So even with just the one or two passes right here, you do have a little bit more of that berry tinge to the lips. I think it looks beautiful. I really enjoy reaching for products like this, especially during the cooler months and the winter months, but this is a year round product. The various shades that they have available would be suitable for year round, I would think. And like I said, they smell like candy. This one especially smells like a berry 
some kind of a berry starburst or something. It smells so intense, so good. So if you're in the market for something super cheap and you wanted a new tinted lip balm, this is definitely one that I would be recommending. I have received a product here from Octoly and before you say anything, I have slowed down on my Octoly orders. So I've been trying to just pick out things that I really think would fit in well with my channel. I haven't been wearing a lot of foundation lately. And so I thought that this might be an item that would be somewhat perfect for me because I don't like a heavy foundation. Most days I'm just putting on some concealer, a little bit of powder just to even everything out and that's all I wanna put on my skin. It's so dry that everything shows on the face. It's very hard to find a product that looks, how would you say it? it just looks like it's part of your skin or it's very skin-like. If you have foundations and you do have dry skin and they fit that description, please let me know. But this is one that I found on the Octoly website. So this was sent to me complimentary from Amore Pacific, but this is available at the Sephora website inside some Sephoras. I'm sure you can find it on other locations, other websites as well. But this is the Amore Pacific Color Control Cushion Compact, and it also has a broad spectrum SPF of 50 plus, which, is a major plus for me because some days I completely space on putting on my sunscreen. So this is what the actual box looks like here. I am planning to use this item in a get ready with me so you can see how it applies. I'm very impressed with it. This is my first cushion compact cushion foundation item and I'm pretty impressed with it. So I picked out the shade number 102, which is light pink. I'm not sure if you can even see that there, but the cool thing about this is, yes, it is a very pricey item. It's a $60 product. The box does come with a refill here. So the box is large enough to have a second little foundation cushion. So this is what the packaging looks like here. I do have this on the face today and it's just a smidge dark for my skin tone, but I think if I just add a little bit of bronzer to the neck, it's fine. I really don't wanna blend this all the way down the neck because I feel like it's wasting product and you don't get a ton of product to begin with and it's super pricey. So in the little cushions that you receive, there's 0.52 ounces. So between the two cushions that you have, it's about an ounce of product. It is around the $60 range still, so it is a high price tag, but there's a little button that you push here, you lift the cap, there's a beautiful mirror on the inside there. And this is a little dirty. If you guys have used cushion foundations and cushion compacts before, can I just wash this as I would like a regular makeup sponge because it's getting a little dirty, but this is the only application method that I've used so far and I love it. I'm absolutely in love. So it has a little section here where you can leave this cushion. So if you need to touch up on the go, you can easily toss this in your purse. You pop this section open right here. It just clicks so it stays moist and sealed on the inside, but you essentially just get this, dab it into the product here, and then you can apply you can touch up throughout the day, which I think is fantastic. You can continually add that SPF throughout the day. But like I said, you can touch up throughout the day. So my nose, I could add a little bit more on my nose. So I'll do that right now. You're not really gonna be able to see that big of a difference probably, but it's so light, you can, do, you can apply it in two different ways. You can, if you want a super sheer application, you can literally just swipe it on the face. If you want a more built up ap application where it covers a little bit more, you can kind of dab it onto the skin. That's my preferred method, but I have been loving these. A little trick that I've heard is you can get some tweezers. Once you're not getting enough product through the sponge, you get some tweezers, flip this cushion over, and there's a ton of product on the other side. I'm gonna try that soon because I think in my travels of moving, the, uh, the foundation product has settled. So I've really been enjoying this item very much. If you have other cushion foundations that you've tried out and you really enjoy, definitely let me know. But like I said, I applied for this one on the Octoly website. Definitely hasn't disappointed. This is probably one of my all-time favorite skincare products, foundation products that I've ever tried just because it is so light, but it does still 
provide that color correction and evening things out without being too heavy and cakey looking on the skin. Another major favorite for me has been my glasses. I just recently got an eye exam. This is my pair that I thought would make me look more like a grandma, but I'm very pleased with these. I think these are probably my favorite pair of the two that I picked out from America's Best. I'm, I did order a ton of glasses for me and my daughter online through various online optical websites. I ordered some from Coastal. I believe that's a Canadian website, but you can order them in the US. I ordered a pair from Fermu to try that out, see how the quality is, and I also have a couple coming from Zenny Optical. So I was actually just gonna do a try-on with all of my glasses. I'll toss these on really quick, hoping that it doesn't mess up my foundation, but I really love these. I really thought that these would make me look more like a grandma, but I love the cat eye effect. Just a subtle cat eye. I don't think I would look very good with a super intense cat eye, but I'm in love with these glasses. They're definitely my favorite. I've always wanted a red pair of frames and I picked those up too. The last pair of glasses that I had, I had had those for about seven to eight years. So it was most certainly overdue for me to get a new pair of glasses. Love these to death. So you'll be seeing that upcoming video as soon as the last order of glasses show up, then I can do that try on video and try on haul for you guys. Here's an item that surprised me. So my husband picked out this fragrance and I, I do like a lavender fragrance, but generally I'm very picky with my lavender fragrances that I enjoy because some of them I, I think they're a little too floral, they're a little too strong, and others they have just the right amount of sweetness. And I think this is one of the products that has the right amount of sweetness. This is the Mrs. Meyers Clean Day Lavender Scented Hand Soap. This has olive oil and aloe vera in it. It smells so good. If you're in the market for a new hand soap or if you do like the Mrs. Meyers products already, try this out. I really don't think you'd be disappointed. It's definitely one that I've been enjoying. The lather's pretty good on it too. My hands feel squeaky clean and they don't dry my hands out as much as some of the other hand soaps that I've used in the past, but the scent is what's really getting me on this product, so. It smells really nice. It's got just the right amount of earthiness to it, but just the, just the smidge of sweetness as well. So definitely a random favorite for the past little while. This next item, I do have some notes here that I wanna talk about because I'm still in the process of trying it out. I have been enjoying the benefits that I've been seeing so far, but this is a new product here from Kate Somerville. It was just released not too long ago, but this is the Liquid Exfolicate, and this is a triple acid resurfacing treatment right here. So I know the glare is a little bit intense, but it's liquid. It does have a pump on the top. I just use this at nighttime. I'll put a, a probably between three and four squirts on a little cotton round, and then I use it on the face. And I generally, because my skin is so dry, if I don't exfoliate it physically, I'll, I'll get these little flaky bits and foundation doesn't sit well on it. So I have a lot of trouble with my skin if I'm not constantly exfoliating. So I thought that a liquid exfoliator would do the trick and it's been working really well so far, but I definitely need to try it out a little bit more before I form a full opinion on it, whether or not I would repurchase it again or purchase it in the future, I guess I should say, because this one was sent to me complimentary from Kate Somerville through the Octoly websites. This one is good for normal, dry, combo, or oily skin. I would say steer clear of this if you have sensitive skin or maybe get a sample if you're inside a Sephora. They'll probably give you enough to last, I don't know, maybe a week or so if you get a sample of this. This is a 10% AHA and fruit enzyme powered nightly leave-on exfoliating solution that will gently slough away the dullness on the skin that'll leave you with smoother, softer, and more glowing skin. I would agree, I don't have to physically exfoliate my skin as much as I'm using this product. And you can see I've been using this for probably two weeks now, and I kind of go every 
every other night because I didn't know how harsh it was. So it doesn't even look like I've hardly used this at all and I have been using this, I promise. It does have a triple acid blend. You have glycolic, lactic, and malic acids. Basically what this does, it dissolves away the dead skin cells on your skin surface that will interfere with the optimal absorption of your other skincare regimen products or skincare routine products. So I've been enjoying this, but I will definitely get back to you because I, I don't have a full formed opinion just because I've only been using this for a handful of weeks now. And I would like to use maybe half the bottle and get back to you. But so far I've been enjoying it. I don't have that rough texture, that bumpy texture that I really feel like I need to exfoliate off physically with a physical exfoliator, if that makes sense. So, so far so good with that Kate Somerville product. This last item is a bit of a fail. It's kind of just a meh product. This showed up in my daily goodie box. Those are free to sign up. If I remember, I'll leave a link down in the description box for you to sign up for. But this is their blister balm. This is the protective lip treatment and it's supposed to be crafted with 100% natural jojoba botanicals. This is what the packaging looks like here. Like I said, this was completely free. My lips were dying. I hadn't unpacked any of my makeup or my lip treatments yet. So I cut this one open. I tried it out. The packaging is really cool and I was really into it, but the texture of this product is so strange. So it has this little metal roller right here, but as you apply it to the lips, it's more of just like a liquid, like an oily liquid. And I don't really feel like it does much for the lips. It, it takes a while to absorb in for it being as thin as it is. And I don't feel like it really does much for your lips if they're super dry, cracked, the kind of lips that you would get in the winter time that you would expect to get in the winter time, especially if you're wearing matte lip products. So anyway, this one definitely hasn't been a favorite for me. So unfortunately, I'm, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this. Maybe I'll keep it around for days when I'm really feeling like they're ready to fall off or something. I'm not sure, so. This one was just kind of a bummer for me. I was hoping to really enjoy it, but unfortunately I did not. So anyway, that was it. Those were all the products that I was really enjoying and one kind of meh item. So anyway, I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.